video let's discuss about route parameters so to do this first what we need to do is let's create a new component that is today detail component by using the command ng space g for generate c for component student hyphen detail okay and i want only ts file to be generated i don't require css or html file so to do that what we need to do is we need to use hyphen it hyphen is okay using this command we will generate a new component student detail component without html file and css file let's run this command now now the CLA has generated required TS file for us. So next step what we need to do is inside app.module.ts we need to first we need to create a parameter so that we need to create a root for it with placeholder for parameter that is here let's create a new path that is path with students slash colon id so this is like we have created a root with placeholder for parameter and we need to specify which component this path specifies to that is component i want to specify student detail component for this so what does this mean this means that whenever I am navigating to students on particular ID I am passing as a parameter then it will navigate to student detail component okay that is we have created a route with placeholder for parameter okay this is the placeholder which we have created by using slash colon ID once we have done this make sure that we have imported student detail component here it will be auto imported whenever we are using component colon student detail component and make sure the student detail component exists inside our declaration server once this is done next step what we need to do is we need to create a button which will navigate to this path right whenever we click on that button it should navigate to this parameter that is that particular id of that student so to do that instead student list component dot html here let's create a button for this id parameter okay for this id let's create button element okay and let's specify some class here to apply some styling okay class equals for example id let's specify the styling at the end okay and we have created a button here okay slash button okay this button has been created now on click of this button what should happen i should be able to navigate for that particular id of that student here we have specified the path student slash colon id right for that id path i want to navigate on click of this button so on click of this button it should navigate means what we need to do we need to create an event for this button that is click event right so for this what i am going to do i am going to specify a click event click equals let's specify some function here that is for example on select okay on select of this id that is i'm passing student here okay we have specified we have created a button on click of this button what should happen on click of this button this method should be invoked and this method I am going to specify inside inside our student list component.ts. Next, we will do that. Okay. We need to invoke this method. We need to specify the implementation inside the student list component.ts, which will invoke this method whenever we click on this button. Okay. So inside student list component.ts, okay, inside constructor, let's create So whenever we are performing routing, it's mandatory for us to import router service. Then only we can perform routing. So instead student list component.ts, let's import router service that is router from 
एट द रेट एंगुलर स्लैश राउटर ओके नाउ वी हैव इम्पोर्टेड राउटर सर्विस नेक्स्ट टू यूज दिस राउटर सर्विस इन साइड दिस कॉम्पोनेंट वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ प्राइवेट वेरियल पुल ऑफ दिस टाइप राउटर राइट सो इन स्टेड कंस्ट्रक्टर वॉट वील डू इज लेट्स क्रिएट अ प्राइवेट वेरिएबल राउटर ऑफ टाइप राउटर ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वॉट वी नीड टू डू द राउटर सर्विस हैज अ नेविगेट मेथड फॉर विच वी कैन पास लिंक पैरामीटर सारे लिंक पैरामीटर सारे मीन्स द आई डी विच वी वॉन्ट टू नेविगेट टू इयर वी हैव क्रिएटेड an id right inside the html file this button has std class equals id this is a for styling and student dot id refers to particular id of that student and whenever i want to navigate this to the student dot id of this particular student we have created a placeholder for it that is students slash colon id this is a placeholder we have created for this id of that student now inside student list component dot ts we need to navigate to this path to navigate to this path what we can do we have a method called navigate method inside our router service for which we can pass the link parameter survey so how we can do that that is i want to invoke this method which i have declared here that is on select of this student on select of this student i am going to invoke this method right when i click on this button this method should be invoked so insert this method we need to provide implementation where it will navigate to that particular id of that student so let's implement that method here on select of student okay on select of that student inside our router service we have this dot router dot see here you can observe navigate method getting specified here this is provided by router service so use this method navigate and we need to pass here we can pass the link parameters array where we want to navigate to that link for whenever i click on that id of the student so here we need to pass an array it is slash students okay and we need to pass parameter for this array parameter for this is students student dot id so this is the parameter which we are passing means whenever we find this parameter whenever i click on id of a particular student it should navigate like this so if we are specifying this here inside our method whenever we are invoking this method it will navigate to this path on click of the id of the student this is what that means and this navigate method is provided by router service okay now we have written implementation for this method next what we need to do inside our student detail component dot ts we need to read this parameter by using by making use of activated route service let's do that next insert student detail component dot ts here let's create a new variable here local variable that is public student id okay let's use this local id so that we can get the id from that student which we are getting the id through the route service okay so inside constructor what we need to do next is we need to read parameter by making use of activated route service to get activated route service we need to import it first so let's import <coughs> activated route activated route from at the right angular slash router okay we have imported activated route from sorry r should be capital okay activated route from angular slash route now let's make use of this activated route by creating a private variable for it inside constructor what we will do is let's create a private variable private route colon of type activated route okay we have created this private variable route of type activated route here once we have done this next what we need to do is next step is 
we need to we need to read the required parameter by making use of snapshot method of current route and by making use of param map api let's do that next so insert ng on in it let's specify a variable that is local variable let id1 equals parse int of this dot route dot here we have a method that is snapshot method of current route and we make use of this param api to read the required parameter required parameter here in our case is id so route dot snapshot method dot param map api dot get method we should make use of get method and we need to pass a parameter here that is id so we are getting this id through this route method dot snapshot dot param map api and we are storing this id inside our local variable that is id1 here okay so we get the parameter id and assign to our local id in our component class so that we can bind it to our view so we have this local id here id1 where we are getting the id from snapshot dot param map dot get method and we are storing inside id1 using this local id1 we can bind it to our html component that is html content where we want to display on our web page okay so finally what we need to do we need to bind this to our view using interpolation okay this id1 which we have here which we got from param map dot get id let's do that next so inside template what i need to do is so inside template let's specify your selected student with id equals and the for interpolation what we need to do we need to use the component class property what is a component class property in this case in this case the component class property is student id this student id we need to pass inside our double curly brace so student id okay slash h3 now we have binded this into our view the id which we want to display that is whenever we click on that id particular student id details should be displayed that is which id we have we are selecting from the table of student details that we are going to display now okay once this is done so so far what we are using we are using snapshot of current route and we make use of param map api to read the required parameter okay we get the we get this parameter id and we are assigning to our local id in our component class so that we can uh, further we can bind it to the view we have done everything so far so next what is left out is let's style our button and the td which we have specified so far okay so we have specified here that is td class equals id right for this id let's provide some styling okay so what we'll do next is inside student list component dot css let's specify td dot id td dot id let's remove the border for it that is border none and specify some padding okay padding four pixel okay and for button let's make it different color that is button with color i want purple color okay so purple and let's specify some border for this button that is border one pixel solid black okay now we have specified styling for this button as well as the id that is stable data id we have removed the border for it and we have specified the padding four pixel now it's time to see whatever we have run so far so that our route parameter is working fine that is the route parameter which we have created is id so on click of the id of the particular student in our student 
details table it should navigate to the particular id and it should display the id which we are selecting okay let's see how it works now now what we'll do is let's run the command npm space start okay this will execute project is getting compiled okay it compiled successfully now let's open this in our browser okay here we can see two links that is home students link that is welcome to home page if you click on students student details is getting displayed using this angular services okay now if you observe we have specified styling that is button color equals purple so the but this is id which we have specified is in the form of a button here with purple color now if i click on this but button what will happen you have selected student with id equals we are not getting the id here so why we are not getting the id here now if we observe here inside our student detail component dot ts what we have done is we have got the id using param map api by using get method the id we are storing inside id1 this is our local variable but what we have not done here using this local variable id1 we need to assign this id1 to our local variable that is student id this is our property right we are going to display this id here inside our html content we are binding here so what we need to do is we need to specify a statement that is this dot student id equals id1 id1 is a local variable which we have specified here and we are getting the id from here we are assigning it to id1 and further what we are doing this id1 whatever the value we are getting here we are binding it to student id and we are displaying inside our html content by using interpolation concept by using double curly brace now if you observe the browser now if you observe the browser you can see the id getting displayed what we will do is let use control s to save these changes let's open the browser let's click on students link and let's click on this button okay now we can see you have selected student with id equals 2 if i click on 4 you have selected student with id equals 4 is getting displayed on 1 you have selected student with id equals 1 is getting displayed this is how by using route parameters we are going to specify by providing a placeholder for it inside the app.module.ts okay this is how we are specifying route parameters so that we, we navigate to the particular link on click of the ID. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please like, comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos.